Hello and welcome to my video. I'm going to show you how to get a pretty good source of power. Geothermal generators are one of the best power sources because they run from a fairly cheap cost. Once you've got them set up the way I'm intending to show you, there's no need to worry about it. I'm going to show you how to set it up and once it's done you'll just be able to leave it. It'll continue by itself producing power and quite a lot of power at that. Right, so first of all you need energy condensers and ideally you need two so if you've made one you can always make another one. They have an EMC value but that's beside the point. What we're going to do is set up an energy condenser to make lava buckets so you need five energy collectors and one energy relay for this. I just brought the stacks because it's easier that way. Oh dear. There we go. Energy relay and energy collectors. Now this will provide enough EMC to make a lot of lava buckets fairly quickly at that because there's fairly low EMC cost. Right now that that is done, you need to set up pipes. So we'll have dirt as a back as a help to place the pipes and whatnot. So one wooden pipe in the top. And then we'll have a block of dirt by here. We'll have one redstone engine on this pipe and a redstone torch. And that will take out lots of lava buckets. It'll take them out faster than you need them though, so that's you only need one engine on this anymore and it'll just be far, far too fast. Right, now pipes. Stone pipes. Oh, wrong side. There we go. E. Two. Three. That's enough. Now, diamond pipe. This allows you to split the um, directions of whatever's going through the pipe. Second energy condenser which will be used to make diamonds because uh, you can never have enough diamonds can you and then more pipes down by there, down by there, down by there Ooh. and here we will have the second wooden pipe now we'll have redstone engine down by here redstone torch redstone engine we'll have two on this end because the lava buckets are produced faster than we need them and once they go through the entire network entire pipeline even they'll go in here and if this is full the bucket won't empty, it'll just stay there and with more buckets coming along they'll just overflow and there'll be a big old mess which can slow your game down and you do not want that so we have this it's going to take out the empty buckets faster than the full ones come in to send them back into here alright so first of all we need an empty bucket so let's go get one there we go empty bucket and there it is being taken out right, I need that now so I'll break that, but there we go. Lava bucket and an empty bucket now. To, oops. To um, sort this out. You right-click on this, and you have this section for deciding what goes where. Yellow, we will have empty buckets because that's all we want going back down there. We already have lava there. We don't need anything else. 
Green will have four buckets and black will have both. And this should split it so that half the lava goes to there, half goes to there, half the empty buckets go there, half there. Which means we'll get a good supply of diamonds. So, we need to get this started. And while that's starting to get a bit of speed up, I'll connect up the bat boxes. Here we have glass fiber cable, which is the best for the, purely for the reason that there's no energy loss when you use it. Or, well, there is energy loss, but it's so small that it's virtually unnoticeable. And you can't overload it. There's no power restrictions which is also good. Right, this is just to put it on. Actually, I need that. This side. As you notice, there's red there, red there, the rest are all yellow. The yellow are input, which means that this lava gener geothermal generator will put all of the energy into that. And that. And then we'll have glass fiber cables coming here from the outputs and then you can put whatever you like here and it'll work. So what's going on here? Starting to fill. And these starting to charge up. So good news. Ready source of power. Empty bucket going along that way. And oh, they're going down. So this is the network as it should be in full working order. Very, very useful. Oh, little horsey. Small as a goat. Gee, this is where I breed my horses. They need distance. Right, now to show you this in all its glory back at my base, where Ooh. it's actually in use. I'm flying, but not because I've got creative mode on. The flying is due to this. Swiftwolf's Rending Gale. You can make this with feathers, dark matter, and a ring. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Because this little ring means that no matter how far you fall, when you land, you do not take any damage. And you double tap spacebar, and you can fly. It also has this fires a leaf, which I'm not entirely sure what it does to be honest. And if you press C, it changes colour. But the, what that does is when you have hostile mobs, it'll repel them. Alright, so here is my setup in full. This is the condenser that makes the lava buckets. This I have making uranium, and there is my geothermal generator, and this is what I run from that power. This centrifuge extractor with a redstone torch underneath it to keep this up to its full. Here we have a singularity comp compressor which I'm using at the moment for uranium. It's very fast. And these two are rotary macerators. They all have redstone torches underneath them to keep them at their maximum. And they all have enough power from there. They can all run at the same time and not run out of power. It's very useful. And as for what I told you earlier, anything with an EMC value can be replicated. So iron dust, iron dust. But you need the EMC to do it. EMC. There you go. So, seeing as these are not needed, I'll put them all here. The unfortunate thing is, if they don't have an EMC value, they can't be used. So you, you can find yourself with a lot of space needed. But that's not a problem. Not when you have alchemy chests. Alchemical chests, rather. <laughs> lots and lots of good stuff. 
right now to show you something else. An alchemical chest can be used to make an alchemical bag, which is just wool's wool, an alchemical chest, and possibly string. I'm not entirely sure about that, but the alchemical bag has the same storage as an alchemical chest and some of the same benefits. With an alchemical chest, if you put in a black hole band and a gem of internal density, black hole band will suck anything in the surrounding area, any loose items, into this chest. Gem of internal density will use the EMC to turn whatever you put in there into something of higher EMC value if it has an EMC value. So as you saw, lava buckets, all that, into 11 diamonds, 2 gold ingots, and some iron. Very useful. Our chemical bag, same thing. So let's show you. I'm th as you see, I'm pressing Q to throw all these items. They're not in, in my inventory. Let's have a look in the bag. Oh, here we go. It works. Right, now to show you with some dirt. Or lava. We could do that. Oh, that's moving very fast. Let's empty it out. Do, 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 do. Oh. All the lava buckets go in and make lovely, lovely diamonds. <laughs> right. I think that's it for this episode. So, thank you for watching, and I hope I've helped. Goodbye.